Okay, welcome everyone. Let's full we'll start our lesson three. Today lesson will go through LO3, which is learning outcome three. Understand how to get their evidence when completing an assurance engagement. How we can collect the audit evidence. So my name is Anjum Sathar and my email address is anjum at uk.co.uk. Please, if you have any question, drop me email and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Today lesson, uh, uh, before today lesson, what we learn, we learn about audit assurance. We discuss about engagement. We discuss about internal control. We discuss external control. We discuss I A C one five audit standards and we learn about audit engagement. That was the key in the previous last two lessons. And to the lesson we'll go through again internal control and assurance engagement, but we'll say how we can get the evidence that will be you know audit evidence. So today lesson is indicative content, assurance processes and techniques. What those are, what type of assurance we discuss, you know, absolute, uh, we, a detail never give the absolute is assurance and a detail can give the positive or negative assurance about the financial statement. Those are prepared under the uh, company laws under the international accounting standard. Those are meeting the legal requirement and they, those are prepared according with the compliance assurance procedure and sampling and testing computer assisted assurance techniques which we can different techniques we can assurance processes for not profit organization they are always value for money need to be the money being spent you know on the certain project the charity or the money was collected different stages requirement including planning collecting appropriate evidence or completing assurance engagement review and reporting qualification of reports and impact of the legal requirement responsibility that all will be focused to the lesson okay so we have today lesson indicative uh, content and then we have assessment criteria discuss the reason for the preparing documentation relating to assurance engagement 3.1 3.2 describe the stages gathered evidence review the different method of assurance engagement 3.4 issues arising gathered evidence 3.0 merit criteria needed written confirmation from the management assurance and then compare and contrast the reliability of different evidence. So third party evidence, internal evidence, yes, and the bank evidence, uh, supplier evidence, all these, you know, evidence, how much is authenticity, that's, you know, the key focus will be. As we discuss in audit, a type of assurance engagement that is carried out by the editor to give independent opinion on the financial statement requirement. The company at 2006 in UK, all the company have an audit. Small company turnover less than 10.2 can be exempt for audit and their asset is less than 5.1 million and their employees is less than 50. If they have more than 50 employees, they, they have to do audit. Dormant company. Yes, any question? Even, if, even though even though the turnover is less than less than uh, say 5.1 million. Asset asset less than 5 million. Yeah, I, you say uh, if the uh, employee is more, uh, more than 15 or 15, then the co uh, company need to be audited. Yes. So if, if employees. Employee so, is 15, but the turnover is uh, less than 10.2 million. Yes, then still they need to do audit because it's the employees. So one involved. of the criteria need to be filled up. That means. Yes. That's why you know basically that's the requirement according to the company house as well. Their audited account need to be submitted. Okay, dormant listed entities, banks, and insurance company whether they stand alone are the part of the group cannot be exempt even if dormant. Huh? Okay, auditors are required to produce a report to the shareholder. It must express the opinion. 
whether the financial statement according to the applicable financial reporting framework like IFRS 16, IFRS 1, we discuss about IES 1, International Accounting Standard 1. If we are following our international or local standard, whatever it can be, properly prepared and give true and fair. That's true and fair is the key thing. Huh? Independent opinion a detail can give. Assurance engagement, as we discussed earlier as well, because quite you know link with each uh, learning outcome with the previous one. Assurance engagement is a practitioner accountant express the a conclusion designed to enhance the degree of confidence of intended user, then the responsible party about the outcome and evaluation or the measurement of the subject matter. That's, you know, reasonable assurance is a high level of assurance. I need to never give the absolute assurance. Everything is 100%. They give the high degree of assurance. Huh? That can be limited assurance, low level of assurance, then the reasonable assurance which state negatively and a detail can never give the absolute insurance so in case of a detail definition work play practices can be fraction the details intended user can be shareholder responsible parties managers suitable methods opinions given fun and about the financial and criteria accounting standard legal record inherent limitations can be subjective judgment can be Director may not be give all the information, so you can rely whatever the information director gave you because we don't have any other criteria to look around. So sampling evidence is a persuasive, not conclusive. Maybe that so you've been given the sample. Those are wonderful transactions, wonderful record, watching system, but you've not been given all the transaction record. You've been only given the 10% of sampling and those are not those are very persuasive to persuade you to you give the uh, reasonable assurance. But if those are not conclusive, you can draw the conclusion based overall. Okay, the purpose of assurance, why? Accountability cover a range of issues and discuss under the corporate governance. So financial statement, profit warning, going concern, communication, director accountability, investment protection, internal control, and risk policies. That's all, you know, a detailed look in details as well. Any questions? No, it's fine. Okay, then next we look assurance provenance, communication needed. Yes, communication need to be between all the stakeholders, directors, because you engage it and the parties, you know, interested parties. So true and fair opinion can be and the financial statement prepared. Director required to produce financial statement, give the true and fair, engage, encourage, you know, to communicate with the shareholder because shareholder actually the owner of the business, director are the steward for the business and they have a fiduciary relationship between because they work for the best interest of the shareholders. Director pay sometime director getting million bonus even the company not earn. There should be a remuneration committee independent and governance, you know. Going concern, the company will carry on as a normal business for unforeseen period of time. And the management of risk risk is the probability of happening and the company should have a procedure in place to minimize the risk. That's all about the management. Assurance provision, assurance engagement. Professional accountant evaluate and measure the subject matters and basis of the suitable criteria express an opinion. Give user the level of assurance subject matter. That's the key. Any question? No, it's fine. Okay. Nature of the assurance services. Sectary and non-sectary audit. What is meant by is one is required by law, one is, is a non-routine. Non required by the law. Not required by the law. But still you can do audit. Yes, you can do audit internally, which is absolutely fine because you want to make sure to check where the money being spent, uh, yes. charge and improving the efficiency. No? So, but, is statutory is, is, is um, audit, I think, uh, done by the external auditor? Yes, that external auditor, like it's like KPMG and various others. No? Uh, your firm can be a auditor yourself. Okay, so to give an opinion, 
on financial statements solely to the to report to the shareholders secretary audit required by the company act 2006 non secretary audit auditors can also give opinion on other statements and advantage of non secretary audit for example settling accounts in the partnership partnership account more acceptable to the tax authority for the sale of the business if you want to get the loan from the bank yes so the the credit agencies are lenders uh, trust will be increased due to the audited accounts so, <clears throat> review Aud audit give high level of assurance reviews state anything coming to attention of a detail focus on materiality the accountant may not give the true and fair views less detail than the audit less assurance of ten so we need to be carry on reviewing and sample size can be increased internal audit employed by the organization that can be sometime conflict that's why the external audit is required by law for the company those you know it's the requirement as a company act 2006 so part of the internal control responsibility determined by the management help management to carry out their duties okay then assurance and report report we need to be produced at the end you know that's the detail responsibility as well truth and fairness a detail give opinion on truth and fairness factual free from biased information but that's you know is is a quick question mark itself free from bias you like a detail getting the money from the director ultimately signing them yes yeah? so sometime it's very difficult to stay independent independency can be issues sometime to compromise then hmm. that's why the creative accounting come from yes yeah? and some like um, anderson company and ron case and the various other companies you know like facebook paid 4000 pound tax a year yes and so, various when are you know 75 million audit pass everything done uh so reflect commercial substance of the transaction that transaction really commercial substance or not so not opinion or absolute correctness obtain evidence on the test basis only evidence test basis yes but lot of you know international transaction frauds are happening sometimes is a difficult because the authority not give you or if you reach it sometime like back in ba system back in 2012 sell, selling aeroplanes to saudi arabia paying back end commission to sheikh and ultimately they came in the public domain and they said they will cancel the contract under the labor government they said you know we stop for their investigation because we want to protect the jobs yes so that's you know lot of things can be happen in the real world cannot be Absolute assurance due to the inherent lim limitations of audit. Okay, assurance and the reports limitation of audit. A detail is not objective. Sometimes judgments have to be made. Yes, your own observation. That's why experience and details make judgment. Audit report inherent limitations. audit report is issued a long time after the balance sheet date maybe things totally changed maybe asset revalued yeah maybe asset become obsolete due to the covid 19 and the regulations change and balance sheet represent the historical figures mm -hmm. yes worth of the company was shown window 98 yeah, window value is high yes so value was high but actually in real value now is less yes, yes. so we can look around um, uh, asset revaluation yes under is 16 property plant equipment or we can look around the fair value adjustments yes mm -hmm. so audit evidence sometime you know indicate what the probe are not certain may be happen a huh? limitation in the accounting and the control system not all the item in the financial are tested the other you know so these are all the limitations and we need to be keep in mind as well 
assurance and report materiality expression of the relative significance of the important of the financial statement how material is the omission of the misstatement influence on the decision of the users can be consider whole financial statement and individual item not capable mathematical definition both qualitative and quantitative aspect we know qualitative characteristic about financial statement we learn about faithful representation yes completeness comparability yes so these are all the qualities two is are the basic five are the in a total seven na timely yes those financial statement because those are the crucial and not only the numbers they are correct but need to be timing are correct yes that's so the level of assurance as we mentioned earlier reasonable assurance review negative assurance agreed What's upon negative yeah agreed upon the procedure no assurance reports and no you know assurance so we need to be look around the compiling the reports and what can be in the reports you know all the facts and figures should be okay audit acceptance when audit engagement happen planning risk materiality nature of planning time internal audit substantive and compliant testing can be statement of financial position audit completion include going concern analytical procedure and reporting and accept audit acceptance annual cycle repeats every year will carry on doing okay responding to the risk response to the risk our all response for the audit procedure test of control substantive procedure and record audit plan a detail must obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence what are the sufficient is it you have a 20 million company 1% you get the sample is acceptable sample system yes yeah, so you need to be your own third party evidence yes you go and physically check the audit you go the independent reviewer yes their views and their reports should be maybe lot of reports can be made our audit look good ha huh? yeah so that's you know a detail check test of control this is already dealt which we mentioned as well design of the system capable prevent and detect misstatement our system will be prevent like we want to give credit somebody more than 5000 10000 so two managers need to be signed or the high level management need to be signed off yes yeah? are we not giving credit so we have a design system in place otherwise it it can be a huge problem yes operation of the system they have existed are uh, operated properly in the period role of control when the data assessment risk material misstatement include the expectation that the control are operating effectively is it control or effective no problem close relative coming no problem you can just one minute so that you know we need Nana. to be hello nana i'm call back to pore ami class e ashi hello sorry hello okay so we yeah. need to be, we need to be look around you know the control and that's you know uh, we need to make sure in organization okay substantive procedures what are these the editor are seeking to substantial assertion made by the director knowing that the financial statement of assertion regarding the transaction and the events and the accounts balances and the disclosures are correct to so about the classes of transaction what are the classes of transaction we look you know is it asset is it expense is it non current asset is it current asset is a current liability yes under which category and the event related to the that thing the occurrence that thing is a happen those are the complete 
is the accuracy there are the cut off dates classification and presentation yes that's all you need to be checked about the account balances related disclosure at the period and existence yes asset are exist in the warehouse but actually who own them i'm saying i own it this asset maybe somebody rent our warehouse and they kept the asset there yes so what i need to do okay i own it how i bought it yes where the invoice these are yes if is the invoice there is it i paid by cash or i paid by like i created a liability is the liability okay who decide it who ordered it to buy it so you need to be look around the right and obligation and completeness accuracy valuation and allocation and classification and presentation because asset we can enhance our policies can change anything above than 500 we can capitalize it and we can show the value of the asset so we need to be look around all evidence about the exception is obtain the following procedure this abbreviation is yours we can use it analytical procedure inquiry external confirmation inspection observation the calculation and the performance any question no sir okay so in the analytical procedure relationship between item of the data or the relevant information in the analytical procedure include comparison of the year financial information with the similar information for the prior period this is a analytical procedure yes yeah? we check you know asset this year last year okay in analytical result budget industry information element of in financial information which are expected to be confirmed to the pattern and link between the financial and non financial risk assessment must be used okay substantial procedure in analytical procedure may be used as a substantive procedures on audit are suitable is the data reliable relevant and available that's all we need to do under the substantive procedure okay responding to the risk so analytical procedure must be used to ensure the financial statement reasonable at the final review and the result must be consistent with other audit evidence again if there is a flaws so we need to look around why why not consistent why not consistent procedure we paying 7 days and we paying 10 days why yes what why not consistent significant fluctuation and unexpected relationship make inquiries of director consider management response in the light of the knowledge and evidence carried out additional audit procedures okay so what we can look around the practical technique side ratios of course can be used to check payable purchases inventories cost of sales all these ratios we can calculate and we can compare as well for audit purposes okay next is sample sample is small part of the population we have so many transaction yes so different types of sampling it can be convenient sampling yes the random sampling yes non probability sampling so sampling is the key aspect of the open sufficient appropriate audit evidence a sample must be chosen which is enable a detail to get the evidence required sample audit procedures to less than 100% of item in the population tolerable so maximum amount of the statement in population the detail will accept if there is a 5000 shortage i'm happy to accept it if there is more than that i'll go each you know transaction and then we'll draw the assurance is is it positive or negative assurance there are the two sampling statistical sampling involve the random selection a non statistical it can be used you know with professional judgment okay then consider the risk expectation misstatement acceptable levels get the resilience of course we can look around the reliability 
on in the sampling, sampling risk, selection, random and systematic has it choose any, you know, the will be and then guarding again the bias. If we have how we can, a detail must, you know, in the line the statements, qualitative aspect, you know, we need to be keep in mind, which we just mentioned qualitative characteristic as well, like exemption, uh, example, and then all, you know, the balancing we need to be populate. Okay, CAT is the computer, computer programs, yes. Computer assisted audit techniques or the audit test, you know, which is performed using the computer, which can enable detail of the test undertaking the result. So, audit software, this is perform check, auditors otherwise had to do by hand. Like, you know, I want to see the balances, I want to see the trend, I want to see the moving averages, I want to see this and that. I can create the reports. Huh? Who are the source of supply? Who are the data inputting? If we look the staffing and the wages side, so we want to say the wage, we want to say the reference, we want to say the national insurance contribution. Yes, we want to see the national uh, uh, insurance contribution, we want to see the tax, you know. So all test of data is the way checking whether the system is operated properly or not. So we can reports and data may be valid or invalid depending upon the objective of the test. Integrated test facilities, permanent testing environment is placed within the database. So that is crucial. Any question, anyone, please? No, it's fine, thank you. <clears throat> okay, audit evidence, IES 500, sufficient appropriate audit evidence required under this standard. Audit evidence need a sufficient, appropriate audit evidence to draw the reasonable conclusion, objective to express opinion, truth and fairness, audit evidence information obtained to arrive the conclusion for the report, evidence in form of the test of control, substantial procedure include the test of detailed classes of transaction, amount, balance, disclosures, in analytical proceeds. All these, you know, we can use it to collect the evidence. Okay, financial statement assertion made by the director approving the financial statements and making representations about the information in, in the financial statement transaction and the events. One, the occurrence, completeness, accuracy, cutoff, and the classification. Account balances, existence, rights, and obligations. Complete the evaluation and allocation and presentation and disclosure, occurrence, rights and obligation, complete classification, understandability, accuracy, and valuation. That's all you know we carry on doing. Okay, so audit evidence of the issues, audit procedure, inspection of assets. So if you do asset register for school, yes, what you check, you know, in asset register. What you in asset register? What we check if you do audit uh, asset register? What do you think? What sort of the things we need to check? Uh, Passes the documents, the authorization is you know these things, and then accurate value is written on the um, books of accounts. The insurance, 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 yeah. insurance policies and things. You know we need to check. Huh? Uh, like revaluation policies, depreciation policies, yes. Depreciation policy. Capital of the asset, revaluation procedures, yes. Yeah, some of the asset is maybe exempted for for a period of time. We have to check this one. Yes, so that's these are the crucial things which we need to be regular checker. Huh? Yeah. Okay, good. Well done. So that's you know we need to. Okay, need to audit work. sampling, sample size, yes. 100% is a difficult, you know, depends upon the nature of the organization. So that's we need to be, that's all, you know, we need to be. Audit documents, yes, working paper. What are the working paper meant by? A detail have the working paper, the previous year paper, or the internal editors use the paper. Huh? They have yeah. the auditor need to note down some, you know, important, uh, crucial point. And that, that one, uh, he, he will check and, you know, he will give more important some documents that he needs to check, these kinds of things. 
Good. So important of the document audit perform, enable the partner to review the adequate work performed, provide you know, detailed work done in the future reference, assist the planning and control, encourage you know, the method methodological you know, approach, leads to the better quality of audit in IES 230, the audit documentation. Okay, so need to be sufficient, test of controls, reliability, audit testing design, less than 100% evidence is usually obtained and all audit work must be doc documented. Huh? These are the steps, you know, which we need to be followed. Okay, so what we can do at the end then, we can draw the audit opinion based on evidence, those are sufficient, appropriate, relevant, reliable. Yes, evidence. Then the nature, we can look around the source, system, and the control, audit procedures, test of substantial. We have these chapter in our book as well, in the Kaplan, you know, which is. Okay, extend and the timing, sampling, in interim, yes, final are the CAT through computer we design. So all these we need to and we'll check in. And this for further reading and if we need to be the chapter seven is this is the link for Kaplan as well, which we can read for audit evidence and audit assurance. So that will also further help us to clear the concept. So today lesson we uh, we discuss about audit assurance, evidence, appropriate evidence, complete evidence, and how auditors draw the final conclusion and then we can generate the reports. So that's all. And the next lesson will go through our LO4 and then, you know, we'll... Um, I have some question about the uh, link you sent it to me. I just checked now. Uh, this is the, uh, regarding the question. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, yes, yes. This is the... Uh, I was asking regarding the question of, uh, you know, the 